Good day, everyone. My name is Adrian Johnson. Ebenezer Steel Creek finds February to be an exciting month for black history. This month, we honor black excellence rising, celebrating 21st century voices by shining the spotlight on lesser known moments and rising voices. On today, February 7th, Deborah White shines the spotlight on Raphael Warnock, the newly elected Senator from Georgia. Reverend Dr. Raphael Warnock, Reverend Dr. Raphael Warnock recently made history as Georgia's first black U.S. Senator. The Reverend Dr. Raphael Gamiel Warnock has served since 2005 as the senior pastor of the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church, spiritual home of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Dr. Warnock is the son of two Pentecostal pastors. Raphael Gamiel Warnock was born in 1969 in Savannah, Georgia. He grew up in public housing, the 11th of 12 children. He responded to the call to ministry at an early age and become at age 35, the fifth and youngest person ever called to senior pastorate of Ebenezer Baptist Church, founded in 1886. He began as an intern at the Sixth Avenue Baptist Church in Birmingham, Alabama. He has served as youth pastor and later assistant pastor at the historic Abyssinian Baptist Church of New York City, also one of the nation's leading congregations. As a pastor, Reverend Warnock sees the whole community as his parish. Accordingly, he has defended voting rights in his own state of Georgia. In 2006, the state of Louisiana failed to protect voting rights of the Katrina evacuees he led a freedom caravan of citizens back to New Orleans to vote. Dr. Warnock has addressed his ministry to urban men through a barbershop ministry called Cutting Through Crisis and through a series of Bible studies held at a local car wash. Newsweek magazine covered this example of his unconventional approach to ministry in an article entitled, For Those Who've Fallen, Salvation Amid the Suds. Dr. Warnock has taken on contradictions on our criminal justice system through his preaching and through fierce public advocacy. His bold and visionary leadership has been further demonstrated through his public policy work with the National Black Leadership Commission on AIDS and his ongoing efforts to provide tuition support to young people pursuing post-secondary education. The Reverend Dr. Warnock graduated from Morehouse College cum laude in 1991. He also holds a Master of Divinity degree from Union Theological Seminary, New York City. He continued his graduate work at Union, receiving both a Master of Philosophy degree and a Doctor of Philosophy in the field of Systematic Theology. He is a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, the 100 Black Men of Atlanta Incorporated, and a lifetime member of the NAACP. He serves as Chairman of the Board of the New York Georgia Project an organization that has registered 250,000 new voters in the state of Georgia. Reverend Walnock's activism was honored in 2016 as his footprint was placed on International Civil Rights Walk of Fame. Among other honors, he has been recognized as one of Atlanta's 55 most powerful by the Atlanta Magazine, one of God's trombones by the Rainbow Push Coalition, one of the 20 top African American church leaders by the Root.com and he is a recipient of the Reverend William A. Jones Justice Award from the National Action Network. His work has been featured on CNN, the CBS Evening News, the Huffington Post, and the Atlanta Journal and Constitution, which hailed him as a leader among Atlanta and national clergy, a fitting heir to the mantle once worn by the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He is the father of two children, and an author of The Divided Mind of the Black Church, Theology, Piety, and Public Witness. Reverend Warnock has stated he would continue to serve as pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church while also serving in the United States Senate. On this first Sunday in February 2021, we recognize our prominent black leaders, the Reverend Dr. Senator Raphael G. Warnock. We are proud of Pastor and Senator Raphael Warnock, whose Senate victory shows that it doesn't matter where you come from. It only depends on where you're going. Join us online this Thursday, February 11th, to see Amanda Gorman's Spotlight.